Okay, there we go. Session is running. Timer is going. Audio's okay, so I'm not to change anything. Okay. There we go. Let's go do the uh, let's go do the warm-up. <laughs> I'll fix that later, but that is annoying to see this. Just, just go with it. Oh, it's because one thing's falling. It's not... Solid middle. So now I'm gonna fix that later. That. Uh, so, must have heard it, but just did not. Did not decide to uh, try and fix. Uh, yeah. One day I will figure this microphone out correctly. <laughs> As I look on the sound levels, oh, that seems okay. Okay, so yeah, so I am playing Heroes of Storm again today. I did think about streaming Evil Genius 2. Um, but I, I'm enjoying playing it, but I don't think it's good streaming material. It's kind of slow in regards, at least it is at the, at what I'm up to at the moment. Maybe I'll look at it later. Hey, it's been. Yeah. Uh, I did think about streaming uh, it yesterday, but I didn't realize the game wouldn't be released till about four. And I didn't want to start streaming at four. That was my other thought as well. Some more Heroes of the Storm. More me potentially failing to get higher in the ranks. <laughs> what I'm looking at. Hope the people have had a good couple of days. Any time game that you would like to load. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, who've we got? We have multiple people who can play healers, but it's the question of will they play healers? No, they'll go for Cuthless. Uh, is anybody else going to play healer or am I going to have to... Because I would like to do Zarya if someone else would take over the healing duties. Uh, okay, okay, so I will lock in to Chasm, be annoyed. <laughs> so I've played um, about three hours worth of uh, Evil Genius 2. Uh, still in the midst of the tutorial, I think, at the moment. Like, we're just trying to get a lot of the early stuff set up. Because uh, I've got the first henchman, I need to do the inner sanctum at the moment, but I just, I found my attention slipping on it, like consistently. I just, it felt there was a lot of sitting around and there wasn't much to do, so that's, I, I just didn't think it would work well for streaming. At least not for me. I, I am not, I don't see myself as, uh comedic enough to handle streaming something like that on my own. Wait, they've got- oh, go there! What the fuck matchmaking on this? This is truly the madness of the ARAM. <laughs> so, two Deathwings. 
Do it then. <laughs> two death wings. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, it's been going okay. I uh, got some stuff done this morning. Still uh, got an email that one of my various Kickstarter things is um, on its way. So hopefully that'll show up by the end of the week. When I'll get the chance to actually play it, who knows? <laughs> That's the other question. But how about you though? Okay, go again. I have got to admit, yeah, two death wings is not is a problem, and Chen needs to stop trying to get. No, Chen just needs to stop running at them because he's just going to get murdered every time. Ah, uh, should I should and spell battle, Chris. I the fact they've got two death wings and they're still having trouble with this. Anyway, hey, that's good. Yeah, I tend to, but I, well, <laughs> I <laughs> have lived in an interesting situation for the last couple of years. And by that I mean no job, but still been able to just keep doing what I want to do. <laughs> it's troubling in the same way as it is nice, but also kind of depressing. <laughs> all the way bouncing around now. Uh, but yeah, I am still trying to like find a job. Like I'm not just sort of sat and done nothing and not realised it. But annoyingly, trying to find film and TV work up in the north of England is a lot more tricky. You you wouldn't think it w would be, but it is. At least if you're just starting out. I, didn't, uh, I always say to myself I should re-email the, uh, there's a company I did some work for on a freelance basis, I should see if they're back to doing things again. But, yeah, but at least people can enjoy the bank holidays, it's good, and at least obviously with everything, everything going on at the moment, uh, it means I can spend time hanging out with people a lot more, which is good uh, for me. I do find it funny, two death wings and they're actually still having problems. So I decided to play this today because I still can't find, well, one, it's still obviously the end of the, um, still got a little bit of time before the end of the season, but also I still cannot find my copy of, um, Bioshock Infinite. Although I am questioning actually, do I not have a version through Games with Gold, which I should actually have a look at. And that actually probably would work just in the same way. Man, two Deathwings is annoying. <laughs> On top of Chen, it's not charging it. But yeah, so I'm just doing this ARAM briefly just to do my standard sort of warm up and then I'll switch over to ranked as I normally do.
actually, funnily enough, the other day, uh, after playing Dungeons and Dragons, I was showing some people, uh, some of the people I play with, um, Gang Beasts, it's on Steam, um, which resulted in, well, ridiculous amounts of comedy because that game is absolutely the most ridiculous thing you can ever play, especially with friends. Uh, so that I might look to, because I haven't done like a group stream with friends um, since trying to do it with Seven Days to Die, uh, which was okay, but it wasn't perfect. Like, but that was kind of weird. Didn't know what I was doing. Um, but Gang Beast, I think if I can get people playing, that will be really funny because. It just is ridiculous, and I've picked up a lot of uh, silly habits in playing that game from watching people like Achievement Hunter play it. Get him! So <laughs> <laughs> run from one dragon to the other. <laughs> Yeah, it isn't great for them with two death wins because they can't. It means two of their characters can't heal. That is the. That's the. That's an actual problem they've locked themselves into. And that's how we sidestep. <laughs> little bit of extra healing for quite useful for this. <laughs> it's the funny thing with ARAM, like I don't normally treat it very seriously, but I still, you know, still like to possibly win. Should I, <clears throat> I need to find other stuff that I would want that I actually really want to stream. I should I I've got enough old game stuff like that, but I don't know how easy it would be to uh, actually actually try and connect them up and get stuff running. It's relatively easy to do newer stuff, at least with the system I've got. I don't know if um, I, don't, I think if the new season starts on Friday, I don't know if I will play this on Friday or if I play something else. Well, let's play something else. We really don't didn't need the turret. <laughs> Punch. <laughs> so many punches. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, seven sided strike. I'll probably look to stream um Diablo four when that comes out. 
because I will li most likely be buying it. Although, the real question will be, do I try to play it on the PC where I've never played Diablo before? Because I just haven't. <laughs> it's just, it does seem weird that I've never actually really fully played Diablo on a PC. Because uh, the first one I played was Diablo 3 and that was on my Xbox. So, if di so depending on how Diablo 4 comes out, it will definitely depend on how I stream it. Yeah, I know PC is better for Diablo. It's more it's more just the comfort of it, I think, that I'm just thinking about. That was a bad idea. Yeah. It it does seem so ridiculous not to play on that. <laughs> yeah, I I played to it on uh, with Diablo 3 with another person. That was really fun. I just couldn't um, I don't know, it's, it's not I ever mean, really felt like a game I've wanted to go back to. Like, I did do, um, I did stream it two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe? And, he, and it's only a fun game to like, jump back into for me, but I just don't know. I've, I've never been as enamoured with it as other people have. I can understand why people are. Because it's not, it's not like it's a bad game or anything. It's, it's, it's entertaining to play, but I, I don't know. But those games have always been, have always been the games I've never quite been as interested in, so that might also be why. At least not interested in if I'm playing on my own. I think it's the actual issue. It's like with um, Destiny. Like, I really enjoy playing it, but on my own, it's, you know. Feels limited. Mm. <laughs> Punch a dragon in the face. <laughs> it's like a blend D and D. I think they possibly got as confused as I did just then because <laughs> no idea where I went to. They should not have taken two death wins. That was a terrible choice of this. There are ideas, and there's that. But yeah, I'll definitely look to. I'll definitely say uh, stream Diablo. Um, it could be interesting to see me trying to uh, pick it up as a P as a PC game after playing it to console. Although, if there's a way to do um, <laughs> control support, I will do that immediately. <laughs> Same as I do with almost every game I can on Steam. Okay. I'm, I'm just... I feel like my... Although saying that, I was about to say that, I feel like my... I don't get as confused in a way from playing controller comparison, but given the number of times recently when I've been playing um, uh, Rainbow Six Siege and I've managed to accidentally throw a grenade when I've not meant to. <laughs> not entirely sure that's true. Also, why does the Storm League Season 1 now say one month and two weeks remaining? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I imagine there will be. Although there might, it, I don't know if they're bringing it to console uh, in the same way, because it was a long, it's a long time between them doing it. So I don't know. But yeah, why does Storm League now say one month or two weeks remaining? It's, uh, that's weird. 
Yeah, this is not the last week. <laughs> okay, well, I will. I have. I can already think of the different title to name this stream when I export it to YouTube, so that's fine. Very safe. Uh, why did the bitrate drop so heavily? That's not good. Uh, I'm hoping that the thing I was worried about has not happened. I'm looking on this end. No, still okay there, but frames has dropped 180 frames. Good. Uh... <clears throat> right. <clears throat> that is problematic. <coughs> Hopefully that will fix itself. I have no idea how that's making the stream look. I know what's causing it, and I know the problem is going to be that I won't be able to fix it um, for the moment. It's still saying the stream health is excellent. Okay. Just on my, it's just saying the bitrate for it's dropped to 573 kilobits per second. When normally it's around like 2000. So I'm just a touch wary. But yeah, the fact that it's still saying the stream health is excellent. I don't know. Maybe some of the changes I made actually have helped it. So I did lower down some of the quality issues. <laughs> I was I was streaming at far too high a quality when I did not need to. Weird. All right. So Inferno Shrines. Is all for you a good idea for this? I could go with a different mage. Might work a bit better. I do absolutely right sharp on the orchid. Okay, well, fine. There's no one else is pre-picking, no one else is giving me an idea of what they're doing. That's their own problem at that point. <clears throat> I wash my hands of thee. <laughs> yeah, I know why the bit rate's dropped. I can't do anything about it. The only thing I could do last time was stop streaming uh, Here's the Storm. It's the it's a bandwidth issue. I haven't. That is an odd combination. Gul'dan Kazajo, very. So yeah, that sounds a good band for that one anyway. But I do not know what they're thinking with that combo. <sighs> Varian's gonna be a problem playing as Orphia, but given that we've got Moradin, we've got Kahira. So, Varian shouldn't be too much of a problem, and as long as I stay out of his way, I should be fine. Although, actually, if he doesn't do taunt, I'll be fine. So that's the one thing. If Varian does taunt, it's a problem. Because that will lock down off here. I hate it. Uh, yeah, that's good. Some solid burst damage from the z Yeah, alright. I can deal with Alarak, mostly. Stay, so as long as I stay out of his Discord strike, I'm fine. Because if he doesn't, if I'm not silenced, then I can keep doing what I do. I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Momentary blip in the bit right here. <laughs> okay, guess it's just handling itself better. I know one thing I do want to do with the stream later on is I do want to do stuff where, like games, where the chat can affect it. Because I always think that it, I always think that's really fun and interesting. Um, I will need to 
check because I know they've got a list on Twitch that tells you all the different games who have that have that uh, capability. I'd have, to, I'd have to I'd have to figure out which which games do I already have or which games would I be happy to play and have that affect it. I know Dead um, not Dead by Daylight Seven Days to Die uh, has that, but I'm not super interested in playing that on my own. All uh, right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do one point for this because Diablo, because Varian, and because of Alarak, I want to stay at range, and on point allows me to do that. Well, you do it without on point, but I don't need ancestral strength because I don't really have a lot of people who can do the extra the extra uh, abilities. Someone in that lower area, I think. Yep, there they are. <laughs> Called it. I do you love that though? Just that little bit of just somebody stepped just a little too far and broke the uh, the pottery that was there, so it, it twigged it. I've got to admit, if they are heavily focused on us and not paying attention. Oop. Okay, Moradin, yeah, I'll go up, because I can. Should be able to fight Varian. He says. <laughs> AV! <laughs> He's going to make it really difficult for me to try and directly nail him. That's fine. Does Varian really think I was going to chase him? That was not happening. Kahira, go on. There we go. <laughs> Sucker. I don't know why... Surely he should have been able to see Kahira, so I don't know why he then decided to charge us. Okay. Oh, good lord. Gonna head all the way down because looks like bad times down here. You're a uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oop. There must be a reason for this. Yeah, Kahira is a bit of an is a bit of an okay. I always think like uh, melee assassins are more, are more difficult characters to play just in general. Uh oh. Shit. <sighs> I had a thought in the back of my mind then for a second. I just went, wait, where did the other two go? And I didn't. And then the bloody camp pinged. But also annoying that that Gul'dan definitely knows how to deal with me to a degree because he moved so goddamn close that I couldn't easily hit. And I do not like that. <laughs> I do not like anyone outdoing me with me playing Sophie. I mean, Naz, if you'd like to join us up in the middle at any point, we would be greatly appreciated. Love when they run. <laughs> Love when I, they run and I manage to pull that off. Oh, 
Good lord, nothing warms the sadistic part of my heart more than that. Mind of error. Yeah, but seriously, na Naz, any help, greatly appreciated, would be. Don't know why I went to Yoda, but I did. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's right, you run. <laughs> I need to not get really cocky with this. <laughs> I need to not do, but I know I'm going to. But I, I do really think for some reason I've gotten really quite good. Oh, just missed. With um, Orphea. I don't know what it is. I just seem to generally do well. Unless someone... Well, I guess unless they know what they're doing, then, then I have some problems. <laughs> I'm gonna run back and grab some health. And I'm gonna do crushing jaws because it's gonna be funny. Our Punisher has fallen before the enemy. I'm gonna go down the line of sight of where they are. We do however need to deal with this quickly before they move. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure why Moradin is pushing the lane up top. Not a. It's a bit of an odd move. Because Moradin's not really what I would call lane clear. Not what anyone would call lane clear. I don't understand why some people decide to um, play tanks as if they can ambush people. It's like, you can't. It's a foolish decision. Even with Diablo, you don't really want to be trying to do that. <laughs> yep, let's go murder Alarak. He has foolishly gone way too far out on his own. Get him, get him, oh! Okay, I'm not chasing him. Uh, there was a big old fight going on top. Ooh. I'm surprised that they are s struggling to fight us in such a way. Is that their team should be pretty well balanced. Back off from here before I get it. Choose a talent. Uh, not really a great deal of spell armor needed. Let's yeah, I'll do the act of uh, activate overflow and chaos. Because with the fact they've got multiple people who will get in close and cause problems. Was was very <laughs> is very literally just standing there. <laughs> what? What is what is that? That doesn't help with anything. It's not gonna bait us into attacking him because we're not stupid. <laughs> baffling, baffling choices made by baffling people.
Oh. Do not think your stasis will save you. <laughs> that. Mm. Ah, got that fit. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was almost more murder. Now, the I think at the moment there's only really one character in this game that I haven't really tried to put, or I haven't played as properly, which is uh, Cho'Gal, which is the um, two-player controlled character. I have not. I've got friends who do play him, and I will pretty consistently play him as well. Um, but I haven't had a chance, I haven't thought to say tonight about trying to practice with him. But he doesn't get used very often, especially especially in ranked, unless you've got two people who know each other, and I tend to play ranked on my own, so. Yeah, but Chogol's just insane. <laughs> Where are you running to? Huh? Where are you running? <laughs> Stop it. God damn turrets. Oh shit, nope. <laughs> Shadow Ball steals percent health. Oh really? Really very? Is that what you're thinking of? That? <laughs> he tried so hard. Uh, yeah. That was, that was dumb and hilarious to watch. <laughs> and that was why I took the overflowing <laughs> Miasma ability. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Running away, running away. Definitely need to run away. <laughs> yeah, that actually worked really well. Invasive Miasma. Okay. Got that one. But anyway, I do love playing as Orphea. So just, I, oops. I don't know what it is about it. About her sort of style and setup that I just do well with, but I have just become lethal playing as her. I've, I've never had a character where I've legitimately said I main that that that, that character I I would say I main, but no, this this is definitely this character. It, it would be a it's a. It's a bad idea to engage here because they've they've got everybody. We don't. Although we do have the two level advantage. Oh, did you did you think you would get to murder and you didn't? <laughs> oh, poor you. Ow. Oh God, I went right into that one. Oh, 
<laughs> they are so mad. <laughs> they are so yeah, sixty-five thousand. That sounds about right. They are so mad. At <laughs> Boy, I I love when I have managed to gain the ire of an opposing team so much that they are literally just trying to murder me now. Like <laughs> they freaking. It, to me, that means I'm doing well. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, that is impressive that Nazebo was able to run around the back of their freaking base and get out. That's... That is in... <laughs> that is impressive. But I need to be a bit more careful now, though, because that means they are... They are going to freaking focus me heavily. Which they should have been doing from the start. Especially, um, but they really haven't been, and instead have been <laughs> letting me be an absolute nightmare. Nope, nope. Boy, <laughs> they are mad at me. They really are. <laughs> Man, they try to drop everything. Man. Yeah, I'm trying to think like who I started playing as originally on this. I think, I think I definitely lent healer very heavily. Like I, I remember playing Morales quite a bit. Uh, and then I think Valor was also one of the early ones. And Zarya, I think, was probably one of the others. I think... Because Zarya was the first character who I managed to go an entire game without dying as. Uh, mainly due to a lot of early sort of dropbacks with um, Activate My Shield. I still like playing as Zarya, but she's just... Not always as useful to play her. I won't give up that. Do I just go up top and destroy the topmost base? Because I could do it. I'll keep going. <laughs> no. Our yep, that's... <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> we ain't going that way. Got to me, yeah, it doesn't really we didn't. They could have gone after the camps, and they did. <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> now that is a little bit of taunting. Really? Varian? Really? You're gonna charge me? You wanna play this game again? <laughs> oh, it's increased the fear effect. <laughs> Backing up. That was foolish. I did take him out for a second. I can see it. I saw it was on him, and I s still wasn't dead. Just can land the other hits, but yeah, they have left a massive hole in the defense because <laughs> Nazebo is just wrecking shop. So that's fine. Do they really have much? Uh, I guess they had. Yeah, they had some wave clear, but that wasn't. And the Zeebo the team as well is pretty good. <laughs> Too soon. Ah! <laughs> oh. How? How did I not get MVP? <laughs> Normally I play off here, I get MVP. That's the, that's the cockiness shining through.
Yeah, was it the was it the extra couple of deaths? So I uh, maneuvered me away from it. Uh, yeah, it probably was. Kahir only had three deaths, so it's four. But yeah, but ten, ten kills, four deaths, eighty-one thousand damage. Pretty good. That's very on par with what I have somehow been able to do. Okay, can we do it? Five more wins so we can get exactly 100. That is the current quest. Alongside getting up to silver 2. Although actually, if I did five more wins, I would get to silver 2, so... <laughs> right, I could do all of you on this. But the only problem is the objective capture is not great for... Obviously with Orphia I like to manoeuvre around quite a bit. So her with objective capture is not great and it limits defensive abilities. Uh, could do Jaina? Jaina would work. Actually, if I really want to go full range defensive, I could go Li Ming. Li Ming really does work. She can start throwing arcane orbs into the capture point if the opposing team are on it. There's very little they can do to block it, aside from moving away. <laughs> yep, sure, no, that was coming. <laughs> Actually, Chromie would do good. Let's fly. I wish he hadn't immediately selected it, but I get it. <laughs> Because the likelihood is that they would have. Still kind of a douche move. <sighs> okay, that's fine, yeah. Here we go again. My blades are yeah. yours. This should work out well. Got solid frontline defense of Sonya and Teriel. Bastard's pretty powerful, but has range. I've got range and powerful. Then we've got Lili to defend against. Um, so we've got their basic attacks, which at the moment, Fisto and Thrall. Fisto doesn't do basic attacks often. Thrall does, but it's interesting to see what they do. So that's the thing, if Mephisto is doing basic attacks, he is way too close. <laughs> he should not be doing should not be doing basic attacks. I'm here to help. Okay. For the alliance above all. I I would not take I would not have taken Lily for this. Not as a healer. Potentially Morales, I'd have gone. Uh, Anna would be one. Because you've also got the extra, but that's more spell power I'm thinking of. Uh, some of the other characters, stuff like Morfurion, also could have been good. Just to trap people in, in the place. Uh, but the, the, issue, the issue I have with them taking Lily, although I think Lily will still do fine, because she's still a solid healer, is just that her ability set helps against basic attacks and a large amount of their damage is not going to be basic attacks it's going to be ability damage so it's interesting their actual problem is going to be the fact that they've gone two mages which is not always a great battle strategy That's the other problem they might have. Although for this, that actually maybe gets mitigated a little. Normally, um, two mages isn't a good idea because obviously if the opposing team starts to push in, as we certainly will be able to try and do, um, they don't have a lot of health and so it'll quickly end up having to either retreat or get pushed back or get, or get taken out. And so you kind of... And they obviously with mages, their damage is very specific. Like if they, if it doesn't hit, you know, it's, 
That's the problem. It's, you can dodge it, and it's not always going to be an issue. Absolutely. So that's the problem. That's the problem they might have with that. Comparison to an auto attacker like uh, Falstad, who can just get in close and start chipping away the health. Oops, there it goes. I'd have, I'd have preferred uh, Morales for healer, I think, of this. Yeah, you are not difficult to dodge with that. The other problem I'm going to have here actually trying to fight Thrall is that <laughs> it's obviously the fact that he's going to have to get right up close in front of me and that'll be a problem. Although if I'm careful, stay back where I should be, okay. Nope, he decided to go up to his mid. Interesting choice. Not a good one though, because they're... And then... And less cool stuff like that starts happening. Yeah, there she is. You someone had to come down to fight me in, in a moment. I don't know why Jaina thinks I'm gonna directly engage her. Damn it, it's <laughs> body blocked. Uh, absolutely no reason to directly conf uh, to confront her. So why she thinks I'll run towards the towers and. Oh, so all. Who are you? <laughs> uh, damage disabled here. I squeeze damage. It's good for my ult. How about we capture this mercenary camp? Take control of it to pilot the mech. Hey, I forgot I left the trapper there. They want to stand if they want to stand in a perfect shot, in a perfect, um. The word has escaped me. Uh, what is it? Choke point. Mm, that's the word I was thinking of. Because I can just keep nailing them with, if they keep running back and forth that one area where I just have to aim for. Still got it.
<laughs> and that's how you get killed. Yeah. Do you not know why Arthur thought it was a good idea to chase me like that? That was a foolish move. Well, that was the foolish, most foolish move he could possibly make. <clears throat> Chased me past. See, you should never, because never chase somebody through other the other team team members. It's a terrible idea. Because as you would know, as you know, as you can see, you will get hit and you will get killed. And especially also he's playing Arthas. You he is a tank who has no mobility whatsoever and he's chasing me again. <laughs> Man, he really thought he could kill me, but he really couldn't. Okay, drop back quickly, grab some health. If their Arthas keeps chasing me, he's not going to do well. It's a terrible idea. Because it completely leaves everyone else unprotected. Blind fire! More blind fire! You want to if you want to chase us through here, that's fine. But I can tell you what's gonna, not going to happen. You ain't going to catch me. That's the quality Shirley Temper. Boy, can they not do this well. Uh, yeah, I'll go in. I do like that my, um... The Chromie's ult stays active, even while she's inside the, uh... She's inside the, uh, protector. It's like, still there. <laughs> it is. It was still readily, still readily there when Jada ran into it. No idea what you're thinking. Why does Lily keep telling us every time why she's halfing back? We know. We can see it. We're fine. Um, it's been regen, that's just what I'm saying, that's we're becoming vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> that definitely will come in useful. There's two separate ults they've got that do group, that work as a group, so. Come on, Thrall. Chase me. Chase me, Thrall. Chase me through the sandstorm. So I'm not going to attack you, I'm just going to fire at range and destroy your tower. I love how the Thrall is dodging my attacks, but I'm not actually aiming for him. I have no, I have no reason to try and hit him. I mean, yeah, it'll get my quest line up, but if I'm just destroying the minions and drawing his attention while the rest of my team absolutely destroys the rest of it, doesn't actually serve his purpose serve very well. Gotcha! <laughs> I love that he didn't think uh, think about it. He just went, oh no, I'm going to get them. It's like, nope. Dumb idea. <laughs> Dumb idea to do that. 
Like I wouldn't have things perfectly set up to protect myself just in case. That's the thing, stasis can be a really useful ability, but it is very specific. Like you, you so I always say about this to my friends that how you see people um you'll see people see people use it to like try and stave off death when they're going to die. Like there's no chance of them avoiding it. Um and that's like the the worst way to use it. But then you'll sometimes see people use it like that, where you just give yourself that little moment of uh, breathing room, just that little bit of space, and it works perfectly. And that's quite spot power. Yeah, we ought to, ought to run up top. There's a few chapters up. Let's grab recharge of the mana. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> I'm not going to set off my ult until they approach, because there's no point to otherwise. Why, Tyriel, did you decide to make that move? I love the fact that Jaina kept trying to run through it. As if the sand bl <laughs> the fucking sandstorm wouldn't slow her down every single time she did. Truly, I have questions, and they are all what even. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think I hit. I do love this stage of um, a uh, chromie, which I basically referred to as the s <laughs> the uh, siege cannon. That she can basically just keep firing off um, sandblasts, and if you've got them all together, she's extraordinarily dangerous. Why waste time on minions? Go attack! Go attack fort! Destroy fort! And down there goes. Why do I think they have extraordinarily powerful robot? Why not go and attack? <laughs> you missed. <clears throat> don't know why. Like, it's a, it's basically a cross between a tank and a bruiser, and they just don't walk around in circles waiting. because I have <laughs> little health. Also, uh, just spell armor. Nah, sandblast pierces. I, I prefer sandblast pierces because it only means you are no longer restricted by <clears throat> uh, having to hit the first enemy. You just basically need to aim, which is also why I usually combine it with the um, uh, triple echo because then it means you've got essentially three shots all firing all of which can pierce so if you've got them all grouped up you can just start chipping away at them perfectly hmm 
Did she already have a... No, she didn't already have a turret, so I don't know why she left it. That is actually an odd... Just, just thought about that. It's an odd habit I've gone into that if... The person is playing... If someone is playing a character, I always... Whatever character someone's playing, I always end up referring to them as the gender of said character. Like, the, like if they're playing Hammer, I'll always say she. If they're playing Murky, I... T uh, I think I tend to use he like a default to mas masculine pronoun. Look at that. It's a weird, it's such a weird habit. I guess it's because I am spe less speaking about the player and more speaking about the character half the time. They are pushing slightly up top. Or well, at least trying to. Hi, welcome to my sandstorm. <laughs> Well, that's not good. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Jesus. And got him. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know why they charged in. They were three levels behind. That was truly the stupidest thing they could do. And they did it. Just gonna... <laughs> oh yeah, they're not going to reach it. They're not going to come back before we finish killing it. But <laughs> just... I do not know what their team was thinking. I definitely think the double mage was a bad idea for them. Because it meant they didn't have a lot of uh, quick attack damage. <laughs> oh, that's, that's... That's that's the true kick in the teeth. <laughs> Just not even one of them got on the, uh, the end point. Yeesh. Just have a, let's have a double check. They have, yeah, they didn't. They didn't really have any, like, physical, any auto attack, which was not a good, yeah, it just wasn't a good idea for them. Yeah, Mephisto, got... Mephisto had 46,000 damage, yeah, but just couldn't land the actual kill. Is yeah, I've had games like that, where I've had, I've had the damage, but just not been able to finish it. And I hate those games. It's always the. It's always so frustrating. Oh no, not Francis Holder. I have a friend who hates um, the. Uh, <sighs> Towers of Doom uh, map, and I, uh, in turn, hate the Braxis Holdout map. It's just so frustrating of a get ever map to play on half the time. All right, what are people thinking? So, we've already got healer covered. Going fast track for attack. <laughs> Jaina for damage. Okay, so either I want to look at Bruiser or I want to look at attack. <sighs> that seems an odd thing to ask of that person. I'd have the same issue. I cannot play, cannot play Gaslow. I've tried. I could go Zul if they want me to go Zul. Go Deathwing? Shit, yeah, they're bad to guess anyway. <laughs> and it's always the thing. There's always. That is, the, that is always the conversation someone will have, and it's just like, oh no, he's gotten banned. Okay. Suddenly it doesn't matter. Uh, I really don't want to do. No, Lunar would be a 
paying otherwise. I should do rag. Do rags. I know how to play rags. He's good on this map. And against people like Lunara, he won't have the issue where they are really sort of far apart and cause all manner of problems. I'm here to help. But they've got two physicals, so either they're going to go with third assassin and then tank and healer, or are they going to go bruiser tank and healer? These are questions. I keep trying to th like think of things to talk about, and I've just got nothing. <laughs> Although I usually do, like after a while, I'm thinking about um, who the next character they might add, or what character from other Blizzard stuff they might add. But the only issue is the only character I really know for for this stuff is um, is mostly the Overwatch stuff. So I would I would like to see them do um, do some of the other characters like Arisa because she's my favorite character for Overwatch. So I would like to have the players own it, this as well. But I really don't know how well she'd work. I mean, she would definitely be a a ranged tank, I would think. Some of her other stuff doesn't work quite the same way. They are going to have problems. Not entirely, but they're going to have some problems, I feel like. That's a good... I mean, that's going to... That team would be good for sort of stuns and slows and things of that nature. But they're going to have the issue that the damage they can do is going to be a touch limited, maybe. But... I never, I never entirely think that I'm going to win a game. Terrible idea. You can certainly question it, but I'm never entirely confident. Because sometimes I look at a build and think, yep, yeah, they'll, they will lose, but... No, they've got two gold fives. Valera can be dangerous if not being paid attention to. Notice the Brightwing is definitely getting a lot more play at the moment. I feel like a while ago they weren't, man. Maybe the... I don't know, maybe it's been a... One well, of the updates recently has changed them a little. Don't know why Jane is in the middle, because this is a three lane, which they will soon discover. <laughs> I love how it shows when people aren't fully paying attention, <laughs> like they obviously haven't looked at the map. As Jane is going to, in a second, move out forward, then realise that it's two lanes. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for the realisation. <laughs> or to, yep, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. I do not get it. I don't get how... <laughs> wow. Got multi hits on that. I don't know how they don't know. Yeah, <laughs> he's in the diva version. Jets. No. Yeah, he's got. He's <clears throat> gone spell shield, which is going to mean some of my more powerful attacks. No, I should have. I. As you yell, let Falstad take take him. I'll drop and go and help the bottom line. But yeah, that's not good. If Valera's picking people off quickly.
fuck's sakes, just, gosh, laning and just quickly running from one to the other. Jesus Christ. On a crack. <laughs> This is just ridiculous in so many different ways. Jeez, getting, getting held up by goddamn. What in the fuck? In the words of a certain Beatles song, help, I need somebody help. <laughs> Why are you dicking about down there? <sighs> nope, just immediate stun, immediate death. Uh... God, then what is going on in this game? I would almost call shenanigans, but this, at the same time, I it's just too bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna switch to. It's just, it's just, it's, we are four minutes in and we've already lost our front camp. I've never seen such madness. I really haven't. I was in, <laughs> nice. I was in insane push. Nope, shouldn't chase, shouldn't chase. <sighs> Need to be careful though. If, Okay. Go grab that though, because that'll give me a little bit of extra regen. Oops, oh, stay out of that. <laughs> then let him get absolutely destroyed. This is the this is what I meant. This is like the exact sort of thing I was talking about. It's just insane. Just cannot deal with it. Why? What? Why were you there? What possible purpose? <sighs> yeah, I know when it's stunned. <sighs> Jesus and Christ. To get immediately stunned by one, then getting struck by the other. Right, there we go. Let's look at Shift immediately on it. But we've got a problem with the fact they are heavily pushing this area and I can only do so much and if I try and make a move out there, they will block me with ridiculous, stunny bullshit. Oh, fuck. 
can't do anything. Why is Je <sighs> We're fighting half the time 4v5 because Jaina is not moving up to actually assist us, which would be really useful because their stun tactic is absolutely destroying us. And so that is a problem. I gotta admit that this is, this is the exact... Why would you charge it? This is the, the sort of thing I was fearing that I, I actually am always worried about in these sort of games that it's ju that you know they've just got some sort of setup, some trick that they'll start doing, and if we can't deal with it, we can't deal with it, and that is then always going to be the problem. Fuck's sake, now I just. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just cannot. They have got multi multi stuns and slows that just immediately stop us no matter what. That is insane. I'm at the same time wildly annoyed and extremely impressed. I I am legitimately finding it difficult to feel angry about the situation because motherfuckers. It's kind of, it's actually kind of impressive. But we just cannot deal with it. Okay, I'm going to switch to the big version. But no, the minute they hit us though with the... the That is the sort of thing we do need. Go for them! Nail them! Do not let them live! Nice. <laughs> okay. That doesn't make up for it, really, but it does do better. I need more... Um, Healing gloves. <sighs> Got her. <laughs> okay. Stuff like that is what we need. <laughs> I was getting a little silly. Nope. I know what the I know what the trick is. The trick is to basically close in on one person, stun the ever loving hell out of them, and then take advantage of it. And they do it, and then it gets really annoying. Select a okay, now I'm going to stunt. <laughs> Take it, capture, continue. They have one trick. If we can avoid said trick, we will be fine. King off. I can keep setting up Lava Wave and that will at least give us a consistent push, which is the one good thing. That's a problem. It can't see, can't see, can't see.
shit. <laughs> Need to run up and grab that regen globe. Why are you... Jesus Christ, Brightwing, stop with the charge. <sighs> no, it's so goddamn difficult to deal with and our team just cannot deal with it. It is scary how good... Which... <laughs> So they did a weird thing, Blizzard, a while ago with this, where they stopped you being able to see um, if the other team had, like, a group, like, was a group. Um, and it's games like this where I go, well, it doesn't really stop, <laughs> it doesn't stop us knowing they're a group because it's kind of obvious where they are. Although, at the same time, obviously. A bit of a difference, but still. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, I'm gonna have to back off though because otherwise they're gonna take this. Gonna protect it for a few seconds, but you guys are gonna have to. Nope. <sighs> this game has just been ridiculous the entire way through. And the problem is, they're gonna. Do, I, I would imagine we're gonna have that thing where we'll be trying to defend, and one of them, at the very least, is gonna come and uh, pick everything off. Yeah, true. This might be the only only thing we can do. As long as they aren't there already and take it. Nope. Whoa! Mm. Oh, fucking... Run, grab, run back. Okay, no, first does that. Still definitely can't keep an eye out for Valera, but... Yeah, she she will just keep grabbing at people. I wonder, did uh did Jaina take the um get armor against physical attackers ability? Because that would have been a really useful talent for her to take if she hasn't. Okay, I just need to grab one more of these. There we go. Talents Jaina took 
No, she didn't. Okay, that's that was not good because that's actually what she really probably needed for this fight. Trust me, I'm not trying to engage it. <sighs> we need to get to 20, but we're going to have trouble doing so. God damn it, I'm not getting grabbed by one, I'm getting grabbed by the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we could do the... They have so much sort of quick stun and damage, we can't deal with it, and it's insane. Brightwing was the worst possible healer for this sort of fight because Brightwing's heals don't... Brightwing doesn't heal very quickly. And especially with stuff like stuns. That's the thing, they, could, they just could jump and pick us off so quickly, especially at the beginning. I mean, Valera went like went from top lane, bottom lane, top lane, bottom lane, and just kept rotating so quickly. Don't know what fast I was about to. No, was, that was a move, but it wasn't a good, great move. There's so, there's so little we could do. I mean, yeah, Valera is just absolutely destroying it. Yeah, that was insane. I knew we were in trouble early on, but I mean, Jesus. It's madness. But yeah, Brightwing was the was a bad heal for them to take for that one. Because those two we needed someone so for their higher damage. Like high healing. Oof. Good lord. Oh yeah. Only been an hour and a half. Hmm. Towers. <laughs> okay, what's well, that being this is a bit more tenable. Uh, right, okay, they're gonna go Leeming. Uh, do I want to do my healing today? Because want... I've got two choices. The two choices I tend to do, so I'm not doing damage, then I do Oriel as the healer, uh, given that she can smack people into walls on this one pretty easily, or I'd go Diablo for the same sort of thought. Uh, Okay. Take over the healing duties. <laughs> I'm still annoyed they changed my Furian's ability. <sighs> I loved that first two town where you could stop. 
um, you could uh, do reduction of healing. It was a great town, and the fact that they've <laughs> the fact that they um, <laughs> in the patch notes just like oh it's such a such a strange talent. It's like it's not a strange talent. <laughs> That damn cornerstone of my, <laughs> my build. Okay, so it's gonna do Pratink. So that's Fiend. That's maybe why it would have been better for Li Ming to actually have gone first for pick instead of Varian, because he wanted to pick Li Ming early. Ah. Uh... We don't need... I will... <laughs> I will lock there, because... <laughs> we, what we didn't need was two people to have pre-picked tanks and the game both... The game to gone, oh yeah, both of those! Boop. <laughs> that would have been dangerous. At least for this, we've got a lot of smacking people into walls. What we need really is something of the uh, something of an ability damage variety, like a chromie. Chromie would be good. Chromie would be fun. Okay, I can partially see how this is going to get. I have a feeling I'm going to be smacking a lot of garages, a lot of garage into a wall. E either person, at all. <laughs> You dumb ass! <laughs> ass! Why? I get potentially the thought, but it's a dumb thought. They didn't look. They went until the last second. Having, obviously, did they think that their pick was just going to go through? Just... <clears throat> Hurts to think about. What? You, what? Madness. Madness that it is. So they didn't look at the last second and then quickly flip to another tank, which we didn't need because we already had one. The one good thing, potentially, is that it might be okay, but... Because we've got at least, well, we've got two assassins, so we've got the damage. But good lord. Ah, uh, yeah, increase the cast speed. So we've got quicker, we've got quicker characters. So increasing the cast speed with Oriel is a good idea. Um. Uh, at least. Uh, I know to take increased attack speed with Stout Hope. That's fine. Because that'll work for both of them. <sighs> Good lord. <laughs> wow! Oop. 
Can we not get super close, please? Jeez, I don't have to save people's ass like that again. Say it again. Is it? <laughs> Why is that the song that pops into my head? I don't know if he was still there, if he's looking off somewhere else. Why do you keep. Why must he keep charging into them? Terrible, terrible idea. Hey, we don't have to. We don't have to kill you. We just have to stop you from being able to get the. Uh... Nope. <laughs> A gift from the high heavens. Stay back, stay the hell back. Just... Oh boy. Fire. So, the words of Dr. Sam Beckett. Oh boy. I like how she stayed. <laughs> like, I like how she thought that would work, and it didn't. <laughs> I like it. It showed stupidity. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we kind of did, and it was kind of, you know, stupid. I do. The hell? <laughs> okay, good. No, that's popped up on. I don't know what just happened. Uh, I was going to say good synergy. That was weird. That definitely seems like a a glitch with the game. Astro. Oh. Just gonna run this way. Bye, guys.
Capture the altars quickly, heroes. It's not a good thing. It's like it's saying I was so convinced of this thing. It says working. I don't think we're entirely screwed. I think. If we can continue, we can. If we can do it, we'll be okay. We just need to do what we. It was a, it was, it was very silly, but harping on definitely does not help. You don't understand why people get into these goddamn arguments midway through because it's not <laughs> helpful to you taking time to type. That was not a good idea. <laughs> and neither is Jarrah. Why is she running forward? I can heal, but only so much. Although, yeah, actually, if I switch out my. I'm goddamn linked to those helps. Anyway, <laughs> well, didn't even think about the fact I was still. Okay. That's good. That is good. That is better. This is not impossible. It's just. Difficult. There is a difference. Good, that's good. Oh, I was already near this one. That's why that's true. The kind of a uh, charging in like that doesn't always work, Diva. We can. Good enough. 
I do like playing Zareal with the fact that I don't have to worry about mana. I have to worry about energy, which just means worrying about focusing on um, where everybody else is. Couldn't res uh, Diablo because there was nothing there to res. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Nope, that was. Nope, that was bad. No, I didn't think. Uh... That was bad timing. I thought we'd be okay and we weren't. <sighs> Misjudged the fight entirely there. They're going to come and stop him immediately. It's not going to. They're going to strike. It does seem to a degree ridiculous that um, the person didn't check. They basically just like, oh, I was so sure. And it's like, you didn't switch until the last second. You didn't change at all until the last minute. And that is a problem. The fact that it doesn't change just... It does seem a little ridiculous when you play in a sort of ranked and it's competitive. You didn't check to make sure that you still need it. I was not close enough to deal with it. Nope. I get why she rushed in to try and hold it, but it, if you're going to rush in and you're going to just basically walk into all of that firepower, that doesn't help. It just seems We've lost a tower. like I've had moments where I've like looked at like gotten distracted while picking some of that, but I tend to keep an eye or keep an ear. Like I will tend to pay it. I will, you know, I've had moments where um we were doing the draft and I've stood up from this and like walked around the back of my desk uh, to just grab something or to move something and. And so obviously I can't see the screen, but I've then kept paying attention to what's going on. Because you can you can hear what who and what gets picked. Capture the altars, and we shall deal the Raven Lord a grievous blow. Ow. <laughs> Why is Sylvan Why is Sylvanas kept pushing the tech? <sighs> well we could have taken out Garish there, and we would have had the tilt, had had the potential. But for some reason, they decided. <sighs> it's just not good. Good lord. Oh, 
I might do one more game. Oh God, I have to get a game like this is one of the ones where it sort of saps your will to keep playing. Is uh, Diablo going to go to a tab build? Yeah, he's going to go to a tab build. Yeah. So actually, yeah, putting on to Diablo also would work quite nicely. <laughs> I just don't... I don't know how. It, it, <laughs> and it definitely was like a last minute thing. That... That is the other part, the other problem. It's still potentially gonna get killed, so that's good. Joanna did do her move a little too early, but that still worked out quite nicely for us. Uh... Okay, that's good. Now I'm glad I took the shield. <laughs> Look at how quick my energy is going up. <laughs> okay, yeah, take it. Uh... We could do here. We could do here. Uh, no. Uh. No, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. I mean, we could probably. T oh, no. We. Energy was going up so quickly while being attached to Diablo because they were, because of both the attack and the damage he was receiving. I am kind of tempted to try and keep it on Diablo more. Because not only does it increase his attack speed, which also heals him, but it also means my heals go it gets heavily increased. Go ready, go ready, go ready, go ready, go ready, go ready. Stump. Jay's after me, but I can heal myself, so she's screwed. She <laughs> words out a little less. Where is where's Diablo? Where's Diablo? Where's Diablo? I'm gonna have to 
half. I can keep Diablo pretty solidly alive and Diablo can keep everybody else alive, but we need to stay together. We can't push and chase. If we stay together, we should be relatively okay. <laughs> nice. Garrosh, corner pocket! <laughs> oh, we should have waited. If Brightwing had come, we'd have murdered him too. <laughs> if, we, if we can make a move, this could be actually fairly effective. So I kind of would have thought that, um, Okay, well that was stupid of him. He's just... Okay, dropped it. We need, yeah, we need to defend. We need to, we can't let them take it. We can't. <laughs> oh, they can go eat every single day, every single day. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Cheech. What even the fuck? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Really? God, I really would have thought at least I would have I would have thought one of the top one of the five spots. What even the hell? It was though, idea. Okay, I have learnt a trick then. Oriel's Bestow hope onto a Diablo who's doing auto attack? Phenomenal. What? <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, I think. <sighs> I actually need a, <laughs> I need a moment, I say. Good lord. Oof, no, not quite as a. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you get. Like, <laughs> sometimes you feel the tension in your chest, but no. Baffling. That was baffling. I cannot believe that we just managed to pull that off. It helped with the res. I, I was, being able to bring Sylvanas back in at full health is really useful. And Actually, the other thing that hindered them more was that because everything was so tightly contained, every heal I did was affecting most of the team. It also helped that I had stuck 25% extra attack speed on Diablo, and thus obviously every attack he did healed him, so... Jeez. <laughs> oh. You don't see, you don't see fights like that every day. Okay, Dragon Shire. Uh, I'm tempted to go Orphea just because. Uh, 
Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna go just quick to the toilet because I got time. the fourth ban. Now I can do it. <laughs> I will hold for the moment and wait see about other pre-picks. I do not tend to like healers picking early. Like tanks are okay because you know you can throw you know the counter pick there is always gonna be relatively questionable, but uh But I always kind of feel like healers should hold. Cause healers so it's so specific and so important. That you do want to know, okay, well, what have they got and what could they possibly get effective with? Orphia doesn't get increased damage for sleep targets, does she? No. Thunderated silence or slowed, but not slooped. Which is annoying. But given Asmodan and Diva, I will likely go and do, um. I'll probably do one point. Instead of ancestral strength, just due to the increased target size of both Asmodan and Eva. So they either need to get a healer or a tank, and they're going to be in trouble either way. If they go healer, then they're going to have very limited amount of stuff to protect them, which is not great for them because Diva Diva can be annoying, but she cannot hold up a team. Or they're gonna have to go with tank, which will mean they'll have no healing. So, <laughs> which way? Oh, uh, thanks, Joker Browse. You should have seen the match you just did. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it was insane. No one on our team thought we were gonna win. I certainly didn't, because it seemed like it was going to absolute hell. And yet, somehow, we managed to win with the with the last team fight, which was insane. <laughs> Actually, the sort of thing I might purposely go back and try and do the highlight, try and snag highlight of. Okay, yeah, so they did go healer. I do not see it's going well for them, but. <sighs> Oh yeah, it was insane. I did also learn that uh, Diablo and Uriel are a dangerous combination. Uh, especially if she, he's doing auto attack. Which will be a fun thing to um, to test out. Uh, Lucio's going to be the only problem here. Three there's three separate stuns and slows. I'm going with Astral Strength. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have yeah, they don't have any one big, so no point in me doing on point. <laughs> I should not be face checking. <laughs> oh, 
They've entirely gone top. They've entirely gone top. They've entirely gone top. They have sacrificed a, a single life to go top. <laughs> really? Really? This was your plan? <laughs> I do not see the benefits of that plan. <laughs> strange people, strange choices. Be careful here. You think yourself worthy to lead the Dragon Knight's power? Prove it. Take control of the shrines. I gotta ask. <laughs> I have to. Ask. What? You have no t no tanks. Why are you trying to pull off moves like that? Stupid enough to follow. I ain't gonna chase. <sighs> this is a very, very confusing composition. Go on, bro. Thanks for the relief. Damn. Ah, no, they pushed heavily at the bottom. Is going on? What is going on? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> well fought. On my way. Nope, they've entirely run to attack the top. Same way they did before. <clears throat> oh, I'm about to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> ah, oh, damn. They keep. The thing is, that won't sustain them. The further into this match we go, the more problems they're going to have, because they can't. They're having to throw huge, huge amounts of their, their team to do one thing. Yeah. They're obviously trying to rush in and just do like quick pushes. But it's not going to sustain them, because the later into the game... I certainly don't think so. But it would help if our team was maybe moving a bit more together as well. I did not mean to click that. Yeah, I'm just going to stand here and keep hitting you with Shadow Waltz and watching your health plummet into the ground. You know, don't mind me. People need to not be making moves on their own and doing stuff on their own. The one thing they, they've got is that they can certainly very quickly get in, pin people down and pick, pick people off. Put it to sleep, put it to sleep, sleep, put, sleep down, sleep down, there we go. Okay. I hope there was what she would die from uh, Anna's attack. 
apparently it did not finish showing the way it hoped. I mean, half the time they have, they are. Do you really think I wouldn't notice <laughs> her drop behind? Oh, I've got to admit, this is yeah. <laughs> Anna giving me that is how I murder. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, crushing jaws. So yeah, the God only knows what they're trying to do half the time. This. Okay. Now they are. Th we shouldn't. If they're throwing everything, it's trying to take out one. Oh, cut down, Mister. Seriously, I got to kind of question what the hell is going on. Why do you have to be part of the problem? There must be a reason for this. In fact, is they are having to stay consistently back? they get hit. The guilt. <laughs> Good work. Just <sighs> it's just what I imagined. I mean, their team should be having issues. The only way they're going to be okay is if they try and pick us off like one at a time. Like, the fact that Lucio is chasing somebody, truly baffling thought in and of itself. We should not, as a team, be struggling as much as we are with this. That is just truly a fact. So they've walked away from there, which is letting them take the dragon. Why do I bother? Why do I even? If we stick as a group, that's all it really feels like we need to do. Stick as a group, we should be okay. Thank you. 
serious. The fact is, as a team, we should be able to take these guys down. I do not know why we're having quite so much trouble in doing so. What about steps? Should I have gone on point and done that instead? Valor needs to stop engaging, stop charging in, it only will get you murdered. How do you not grasp this gun set? Oh, my back backup, he's back up. Oh, God damn. Why does Valor keep charging in? <laughs> Valor is initiating fights before people have arrived, it doesn't do well for her. I mean, no one's died more than anyone else, so it's at least, at least a slight comfort. I know. Uh, I think it's just the issue's two separate pushes that they've got. They've got Asbadan who can just keep pushing, and Sylvanas who's constantly pushing, and we don't have anyone who can really go the opposite direction. The fact that Sylvanas is stood there right now and just working without unimpeded, entirely unimpeded, is insane. I need Oh. Mm. Shit. Oh, damn it. I, I misclicked. Clicked trying to go down and instead I ended up clicking on the enemy. Ugh. But this is why I always, you know, I'm not always 100% confident. I was you know, severely surprised though. That... So once again though. One of them is pushing, and this, yeah, so the, it's consistent. It's a consistent plan. It's, it's the basically every the the drawing our, all of our attention. We go to one spot, and the minute we do, one of the other ones has moved into position to take stuff over. Like they're not expending the entirety of their fort, the entirety of their team, to deal with one situation. They're just they're throwing like maybe four of them at us in one shot. No, it was just it was just a monarch invasion and global annihilation. Yeah, I, just, I can't do anything. Probably the worst game with Ophir I've played, <laughs> which is so very painful. Yeah. No, it's just yeah. It was. It was stuff like the the beginning bit, like we didn't, like that was immediate, immediately showed us what they were going to do, which was that quick, um, that quick attack. Like they had Sylvanas go into the go into the middle, that was it. But they immediately all moved to the top. They hit that tower, and that basically showed exactly what they were going to do for the rest of the day game. And we didn't um, engage with it. We didn't try to sort it out. That is annoying. Uh, well. Well, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Sometimes you have phenomenal fight backs, sometimes you have those games where it's just painful. Uh, okay, I'll do one more match because then I guess about three hours worth of stream time, so it's not too bad. But yeah. That is an interesting task to do actually, a sort of quick attack. But yeah. It did not help though that Valor kept I think Valor kept going they kept Valor kept moving on her own, it felt like, but I wasn't sure. 
It certainly was towards that that last fight, that one towards the bottom she did. She ran in. And I get the idea of stopping them. I've done that same mistake before, but it was a, and I've made done yeah, exactly the same mistake before. However, I really want to play all field on this one though. <laughs> it's had a more temple, it's a wide open space, and I do well there. Oh. Thanks for the follow, Jacob Rares. <laughs> Let's see if I can't do better this time. Tanamora Temple, it's wide open space. I should be able to do well with Orphea here. I do do well with Orphea, but the last game certainly didn't make it seem like it. Uh, need to... Need to find... Bioshock Infinite before I do that. Uh, I would say she has certainly become that. <laughs> She's certainly, all has certainly become the main that I tend to use. Uh, I'll, I can show you why. Uh, my win rate is, you know, fifty nine point seven. It's not perfect because I haven't always, I haven't always won. But stuff like the my K, my kills to death ratio four point four four. I have have done scarily well. I'm just going to lock in. <laughs> no, that's peeping. I've been doing scarily well with Orphea, and so she has tended to be where I, I will straight away go unless it doesn't work for the team composition or the map. Which I was really hoping that previous game it would work quite well, but it didn't. Yeah, but hopefully on this, I'll have to be a little wary of Tychus. But if Diva and Anamak can give me cover there, we should be fine. <laughs> Orvio ended up becoming my main because of, um, funny enough, I think it was a game on Tanamura Temple where one of the opposing team picked Deathwing. <laughs> yeah, I have fan found to give that. But the, the thing I've tended to keep doing at the moment, which has worked really well, just to be careful of whacking my hand into my microphone, um, is especially against like bigger targets. I've been doing the on point talent, so I get the ninety percent damage bonus. And for stuff like Deathwing, um, it absolutely destroys him, <laughs> and it's really fun. It's really funny to see, and I've found that works very well with grouped up uh, enemies and any sort of bigger, uh, bigger enemies as well. Funnily enough, like Varian and like uh, Diablo Arthur stuff about like tanks, so I can stay out of reach. Okay, I will probably be doing the on point setup then. But yeah, I've I've really enjoyed playing Zofia. I I like the movement system and stuff like that, and just the the way she works really works well with me for some reason. I also like the floating back animation uh, when she's backing away because it is just that little touch of creepy. <laughs> okay, should be able to do fire on the front lines. Tychus is going to be a little bit of a problem, but just have to be careful. Does Orphea have physical armor abilities? No, she has spell damage armor. What about you, Joker Browse? Who do you who do you like to play, or what roles do you like to play in this? I was I, I was like talking here's the storm people. Stuns of... No, I'd rather do one point. Combat starts in ten seconds. 
Yeah, that's that's fine. As long as you're working your way up. I mean, after a while, if you start doing like the ranked and stuff, the level doesn't greatly matter. The thing that starts to matter with the ranked is usually more your stuff at like win rate and um, the sort of rank you get to. Uh, but yeah, but the, the level... Yeah. Because, I mean, I've, I've played against people who've had insane levels, like 2000s, 1000s, and they have been no diff... No, not any greatly different. Whoop, what know? Who the heck mounts up in the middle of a fight? I'm gonna chase Varian! I'm gonna chase Varian! Dead! <laughs> oh, you should have run quicker. <laughs> yeah, those are those are yeah, those are definitely good all round characters. I do. I have um, a build. I like to do. For, I have two builds. I do for Jaina. One which is, um, if there is a heavy physical attacker team, um, and then the other build is. I can't remember what the other build is. I actually have begun to just use the first build more. Don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm going back away now. Oh, <laughs> God! It just. Jesus. Yeah, I took a while to um like playing Lily. It took me a while to work out like how to just her talent set and her abilities. Now I take I I finally do tend to play her with against the people that you should play her against like any sort. People like Illidan and uh, Lunara stuff like that. Oh, I need, to, I need to get to level four. I need my I need Allegrissima. I need my, I need my stupid cooldown. Oh. There it is, Allegrissima. And now this is going to be ridiculous because I will be able to keep spamming sp uh, <laughs> Shadow Waltz every few, every few seconds. Yeah, I I think Joanna was one of also the, the early tanks I tried to learn. I, I my favorite tank for this is pretty much always going to be Diablo because I really enjoy slamming people into walls because it's consistently the funniest thing. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You keep running upwards, Varian. Keep running in a nice straight line. That's fine. Damn it. <laughs> you made me miss. <laughs> I dare you. Uh, I, I love any character who you can actively chase with. Like with Phoenix. I love... I. I haven't played Phoenix in a while, but I'd love chasing people with Phoenix if you've got the um, like increased damage for move uh, every time he moves. Because it makes it so much fun to watch someone trying to run away from him, and you know that with every step away, they're just going to take more damage. Oh! On which skill? On if on Shadow Waltz, it is with what I've picked. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. Um, it's due to uh, the level four talent of Allegrissimo. So basically, if I um, hit people with the tip of Allegrissimo of uh, Shadow Waltz, the Q ability, it makes the cooldown become zero point seven five seconds. Which means, if they're in range, especially when I'm chasing them, I can just keep striking, uh, striking them over and over again with it. Which, if you're fighting someone like Deathwing, who is really easy to hit with the tip of it, 
then you can just keep doing it over and over again. Don't know what Lily is doing. Yeah. It is it is a wonderful, wonderful ability. <laughs> well someone got trapped there. <laughs> Uh, no. mm. Oh, it's hard about the stunts. But yeah, but I I started doing this build this build where it is just heavily focuses um the cube ability, Shadow Waltz. Because you can then just keep striking them quick. I mean, it's still got issues, obviously, if they... It's not very difficult to dodge. Like, you, you do not have to step very far to avoid it. And so that is the weak spot. Like, any any heavily mobile character, I will tend not to play Orphur against. Because I know that they're going to dodge it. I know it's going to be a problem every time. Well, we can't... Well, apparently we're doing this, so... I think it's a terrible idea. Right, so we did that and... <laughs> Bad ideas do taunt if you're on low health. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna, oof, yeah, I'm gonna really wanna back up. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on the fringes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm if you take the Dalagress of my talent as fourth with Orphea, you can and you can hit consistently then yeah the cube ability becomes a ridiculously short cooldown hey, use your talent. but it is only it's it's a good talent to use against slow moving characters like tanks and bruisers or deathwing <laughs> especially deathwing <laughs> no pain to move Why does the Varian keep thinking he can kill us if he charges us? <laughs> Not working. Oh, I'm back up. Nice. But yeah, the, the even worst part of the cube ability um, is... I think it's in two levels time? Where Orphea can steal... Um, can do percent damage and steal health. I think it's next level. Uh, no, it's 16. It's a uh, band of anguish. Or bond of anguish. Um, once... <sighs> once you get that, it's kind of ridiculous because you start tearing through health. So what they need to be doing against me right now, really, is, um, is what Varian has been doing. Which is charging me and shutting me down. Because if Orphea gets taunted, she's terrible. She can't do anything. And it's very difficult to manoeuvre back. Especially when someone's in your face. So that's the that's what they definitely need to be doing. Oh, no. No. Use. <laughs> I 
Uh, I would take Shadow uh, Determination like I normally would, but they don't really have much spell damage. Have a little bit of spell damage, but no. Oh, yeah, invasive miasma. Yeah, it's. Might as well take this. And murder! <laughs> now the real question is, how long until they get really angry and they start focusing me entirely? Because <laughs> that's usually what happens. <laughs> I'm waiting. Are they pinging? Oh, they're, they're siege camp. Not a terrible idea. We are right next to it. We needed somebody really to have gotten in there. They weren't. Yeah, they've started. They've started sidestepping it. <laughs> just, just the way to deal with it. It's the way to throw it. Because that's the thing. Shadow Shadow Waltz's trade off is the fact that it has a very limited area of attack. Like you do, you don't need to do much to avoid game to avoid it. Don't know why Lily's the one running back to try and stop a siege. Can't siege. But appreciate it. We've got 20 seconds left on that. Not going to make a push till everybody gets in and here comes the murder. Don't. <laughs> Good lord. Oops. Incredible. Don't know how to survive that one. <laughs> Grab a healing fountain and just make sure everything's topped up. Okay, they're grabbing the siege camp. Makes sense. I wonder if they realise that, you know, all, like, bunching up like that, terrible idea. <laughs> we should probably go deal with that siege camp though that's pushing our, uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, they should not be charging at us with three levels of difference. Jeez. Ah, oh, really V, you want the fight, you want to have this fight again, you want to lose this fight again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I got cocky. I got cocky and it came to kill me. <laughs> Curse my natural hubris. I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> your shield's about to your shield's about to run out. Uh -huh, he backed up. Okay, I'm just gonna run this way. Really, Artonis? You you want to keep going? You finished off that. Much better. You could. Consuming chaos grunt spell power. <laughs> yeah, have I only, I've only made one minor change to this build, and that's just taking the invasive miasma. They had spell attacks, then I'd actually done something different. He's gonna die. He won't. He was not gonna make it. Back. <laughs> they really needed some burst damage. <laughs> I didn't I haven't even check what my, <laughs> my hero damage stats were. Come on, come on. Oh, I keep getting picked for MVP by Lunar. That happened earlier. Give points to the Lunar. Let's see, how much damage did I do? Because my normal amount is... I know what my normal amount is. You know how ridiculous this game So let's look. 86. Yeah. That's about right. Oh, look at that though. 11 kills, 17 assists, 1 death each. And it must have just gone to her due to the difference in the XP. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, say 6,000 is about right. Well, I've been going for about 3 hours. So I think that's where I'll call it for now. Uh, knowing that I didn't manage to move up to the next rank, which is what I was hoping to do, but given that they've for some reason decided to extend the season by another month, uh, I've still got a lot of time to try and get back up to gold. At least even try and get to gold. I haven't even managed that this season. So yeah. So let's flick over. There we go. So yeah, so thanks for sticking around and uh, watching. I will be back on Friday when I would... Now normally I would be streaming more of this because I usually reserve Friday for that to stream this. But obviously the plan has changed somewhat. Um, So I, I might still play this on Friday just to keep my sort of normal schedule. But on Monday next week i will be 
um, going through another game, uh, like I had just been doing with Crash Bandicoot 4 for the last uh, couple of days. Uh, probably um, Bioshock Infinite, because I have never done the 1999 mode, and I thought that might be a fun thing to play, and it'd be something wildly different um, in comparison to everything else. There. Yeah. So, I will be back on Friday, 2 o'clock uh, GMT. And uh, so, depending on where you are, <laughs> um, I, I, I do have it scheduled up. <laughs> Thanks. I do have it scheduled up on my channel, so you should be able to see it, you know, no matter where you are. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back on Friday to play more of this. So, hope to see you then. Have a good day and have a good couple of days. Till I see you again.